I'm going to be talking about unhinged main characters in books, but they're all black. All of them. And if she was my best friend, I would have had to lay hands on her. But as someone just simply reading the book, I loved it. <laughs> unhinged, crazy. Just jealous. Oh, you're mad because she's pretty, whatever. And she's like, no, she she is going to kill you. Like, like I'm trying to help you here. Delusions, delusions, delusions. But unhinged? It's only one call her witch, calling her crazy, whatever. But I think she's an icon. Hello. Let's talk about some unhinged black main characters in books. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Hello, 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 booktubing world. It's I, Free Nicole, and I'm back with another video. So, today I'm going to be talking about unhinged main characters in books, but they're all black. All of them. So if you're new here, please make sure you hit that like button, that share button, that subscribe button, because I always come with the content. So you don't even have to test me out like I got you. We're just, we're right here. And if you're an OG, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Make sure you stay to the end so you can be in the emoji gang. And yeah, let's get into this video. Okay, so I see this trend going on and has been going on on TikTok where people recommend books that are based off of specific type of women, like sad girl books, hot girl books, unhinged women in fiction, etc, etc, etc. And I just find it quite lacking in color. You know, I'm just, I'm missing the black main characters. So I'm just here to recommend some of them. We're here to talk about black main characters that are completely unhinged, like off their rocker, crazy as hell. Either they got to a point where they snapped and they killed everyone, or they're just delusional and just living in their own world and making up shit in their head. And they're quite insane, okay? They have specific motives, specific goals, specific thought processes, and it doesn't always rub people the right way. So they're looked at as unhinged, delusional, crazy. And you may say they're just a dreamer. Some call me delusional. I say I'm a dreamer. It really just depends on your point of view. It's not only gonna be women because a couple of these books are men that are unhinged and out of their damn minds. So I'm definitely gonna be talking about them as well. So today we're gonna be talking about nine books. All of these books I've read except I think one because it hasn't come out yet, but it's a retelling, so I already know what's gonna happen here. All right, so the first book that I have to recommend, I don't physically have, but I listen to it on audiobook. And I recommend the audiobook. You can read it physically as well. I think it'll have the same impact. It is a book by Tiffany D. Jackson herself. Her ass is just a phenomenal writer. If you haven't read any books by Tiffany D. Jackson, I don't know what you're doing. She just has this way of twisting characters, making turns, making you confused, but loving every second. So the first book that I have to recommend of an unhinged main character is a book called Allegedly and allegedly follows this main character. Her name is Mary and she's 15 years old. She was wrongfully accused of murdering a child when she was nine. And since that happened, she was convicted into juvie and now she's staying in a group home and she's basically trying to restart her life because she's getting, you know, a little bit older. She's getting close to, you know, that 18 year old age where you think you know everything and you got everything figured out. So she's trying to basically start her life as a young adult. Her ass is crazy. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, she, she's just so crazy. Reading this book, it was a whirlwind of emotions especially because you don't know whose side to be on but my favorite part of this book honestly was the depiction of someone being accused of a crime and being black i like the way that she dissected the fact that her face was all over the news and her full name and her address and her family like she had zero privacy and i feel like with other criminals whenever they're convicted of a crime they're kind of protected in a way and their pictures aren't usually put out until a specific time and then the pictures that are put out are them on like a freaking motorboat or on a cruise with their family and they're really slaughtered their whole family so it's like why are we looking at a picture of them hugging their family hiking and they killed everyone so you know what i'm saying like it's just like that protective thing and i really like the way that that was discussed because it was like she had no protection when she was accused of this like all of her business was put out there even though she was only nine years old her being in a group home definitely shows like her snapping because 
she just not playing with these girls. I think at one point she got into it with one of these girls and she just like bleached her clothes or something like that. Like it's not no games with Mary. Like Mary is not playing with your ass, okay? She's not playing with you. So definitely check this book out. I think it's on Scribd still, but you can also buy it. You can buy it too or you can get it from your local library. So definitely check that one out for an unhinged main character. The second book that I have to recommend is a book that I read recently in my latest vlog if you haven't checked it out. I will leave it in the cards up above so you can go click on that. But it was me reading MK Jemison books to give her one more chance. And so the book that I have to recommend you guys that follows a unhinged main character is The Killing Moon. The Killing Moon. Man, I do such a shitty job at explaining this premise because it's like a complex dream world but I'm gonna do my best this book follows like an ancient city where there are these priests that control and protect the land so the priests within this land um, are called gatherers and they have this ability to collect dreams from people that are dying or c accused of being corrupt so there's different types of things they can collect within the dreams there's dream bile, there's dream seed, there's dream blood. Each of these types of things that are taken from dreams can be used for different things. But there is a conspiracy and corruption going on in the land that is directly connected to the priest. When you're a gatherer, your job is to basically be a gentle assassin. Like you go into someone's house in the middle of the night and you tell them like, I'm here to collect your dreams. I'm here to um, basically kill you, but in a gentle way. So they tell them this, they show them the dream of the world that they'll put them in and then they basically put them to sleep. Now, if anything goes wrong during the ceremony, if the person doesn't want to do it and you force them to do it, or they change their mind the last minute, like if anything goes wrong during the ceremony and you still force them to do this, you can turn into something that's called a reaper. So a reaper is someone that's like a corrupt gatherer. And when you become a corrupt gatherer, you basically look at dream blood as something that's like a drug in a way. And you come, become addicted to it and you start wrongfully killing people and assassinating people because you're addicted to dream blood. So in this book, there's already a reaper. The gatherers are trying to figure out who it is. Basically, that's what this book follows. I don't want to get too much deeper into it because I don't want to give anything away. But there is a lot of unhinged main characters in this damn book. Like, I, I don't know how this has not been recommended. Like, this book has, like, so many unhinged-ass main characters. Number one is the prince. Like, the prince, for me, is the reason why I'm recommending this book. The prince is very unhinged. That He is out of his mind. He is so driven on power and being in control that he will do anything to get what he wants and like the more you read the more you see like how like out of his mind he is like no one's safe no one is safe okay like it doesn't matter if he loves you nothing if he's trying to get on top he's gonna get what he wants seeing like his goals and what he was trying to do and stuff like that it's just crazy like he is literally out of his mind like oh my god i want so many more people to read this book and talk about it i've seen mixed reviews about it but i loved it i gave it five stars and i did buy the second book so i'm really excited to see where that goes but <laughs> he's crazy so if you want an unhinged main character the prince is who you need and also the reaper the idea of the reaper in this book is also an unhinged character like crazy like literally crazy definitely check this one out so the next book that i have to recommend you guys is also a book that i read in one of my vlogs so i'll leave it up here if you want to check it out if you're new and you haven't seen it yet but it is the rage of dragons i love this book so much look at the tabs loved it it's kind of hard to explain this one too but this book follows the main character his name is Tao. within this land there's different types of classes and there's different types of soldiers and there's a war going on you have to complete this training to decide like what cast you would be in and it's just very complex this also deals with alternate worlds so it'll be like the same world but like the shadow world in a way and there's also like dragons and there's just a lot of war and killing and 
just viciousness and it's just so it's so hard to explain this book because i just feel like this book was better going into it without knowing too much about it i did not read the synopsis of this book when i read it and i had such a good time reading it the reason that i'm recommending this book is because of tao tao is out of his damn mind like he is so hard-headed he's so hard-headed he's so driven he has such a tunnel vision on his goals and what he's trying to accomplish and what he's trying to do like nothing else matters so, say you're in a training and at 6 a.m everybody wakes up and trains together he goes to four different other trainings because he wants to get to his goals like he just is such a driven character and you will honestly get really frustrated with him reading this book because he just does shit that is so dangerous and so crazy like it just makes you want to scream at him and shake him and tell him like you should not be doing this like this is not a good idea <sighs> but i just love him he's like he's my baby i really <laughs> want him to get everything he wants all the killings he wants this book was so good i had such a good time reading this i've seen mixed reviews some people like it some people don't but if you are a character driven reader definitely read this book i would say go into it without reading the synopsis and just like piece everything together there is a glossary in the back that kind of helps you like guide through the path of like knowing what the hell is going on because in the beginning I was a little bit confused but once I saw the glossary I was I was good like once you get comfortable with the world and the characters and the glossary you'll be good unhinged 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 crazy right. so the next book that I have to recommend is my sister the serial killer now this this title alone lets you know that one of the characters in the books is out of her mind so this basically follows two sisters and one of them is beautiful and she's an influencer and her family loves her and she's basically like the favorite of the family but her ass is crazy she keeps killing all of these men that she ends up in a relationship with and her sister i think her older sister comes and helps her hide these these murders like every time something goes wrong and she ends up killing these men her sister comes and picks up all of the pieces and she doesn't learn anything from any of this and she you know what i'm saying like she just really just does not care she just does it and i feel like because she knows her sister's gonna help her and and figure everything out she doesn't learn anything from it but it gets to the point where her sister the crazy murderer is interested in someone that her older sister is interested in and her sister's like listen no like i like him i really don't want you dealing with him because i know what's going to happen in the end so she tries to warn him he doesn't want to listen he's like oh you're just jealous oh you're mad because she's pretty whatever and she's like no she she is going to kill you like like i'm trying to help you here but basically follows these two it's a very short book i read this a few years ago the blood sign this character is out of her damn mind she is another character that is very driven towards one specific goal very tunnel vision like any character in fantasy that has a tunnel vision view on something they're trying to accomplish i just live for it because i like to see what they're willing to risk and what they're willing to do to get where they want to go okay so basically this book follows the main character her name is Salone and she has the ability to set people on fire okay she will she sets people on fire all right so anyone that has this power or has there's multiple different types of power but anyone ha that has this type of power is basically killed off immediately they also find soldiers i think once they turn i want to say 15 or 16 once they turn 15 or 16 they basically put them into training to fight for the war basically so she ends up becoming the age where she has to fight and train with these people and she hates all of them but she's willing to go because her mother's been missing and she's trying to figure out where where her mother is find out more information on her mother so she basically has to hold in her power she also doesn't really know much about her abilities so during the training she finds out more about it and yeah she's unhinged she's crazy like especially towards the end you get to see how crazy she can get okay a, a good majority of this book she is very doubtful of herself she's not very smart in some of the things that she decides to do she's not decisive on what she does she's just very scary timid kind of like the underdog within the training realms but she gonna get her lick in okay and also another thing that i really enjoyed about this book 
was the writing the writing was so beautiful like this is this author's debut and she did such a phenomenal job with this book like just the writing from the beginning you just get so wrapped in and if you fall in love with the main character then it'll be an easy journey a little riggedy because you do want to scream and yell at her sometimes and shake her definitely unhinged i think within the first like 20 pages she sets somebody on fire from the inside out okay she sets them on fire from the inside so if you want unhinged salone is your girl so the next book that i have to recommend is not out yet but it is by an author that i've already recommended and i already know she's going to deliver and it is the weight of blood so this book is basically like a carry retelling it's following a main character that is going to a school where they're having their first prom that's interracial and shit goes away things go wrong and everybody is basically blaming her just like the movie and the book and carrie she gets bullied a lot and she's a very troubled teen and when prom happens things go wrong and she's the number one suspect of everything that happened that's basically the book i didn't read too much of the synopsis because i'm trying to start reading books without reading too much of the synopsis i read like a couple sentences and a tagline because the synopsis truly just gives too much away but you kind of already know what you're getting yourself into with this book because it is a retelling so just think carrie but with a black main character okay and i love the cover i love tiffany d jackson's writing i'm excited to see what she does with this it comes out in september so definitely keep your eye out for that one and i'm just ready to see her mess some stuff up. so the next book that i have to recommend i read recently and i haven't seen too many people talk about it wahala but it follows these three main characters that are best friends they've been best friends and inseparable since like elementary school in comes a old childhood friend her name is isabel and she basically is back in town because she's recently divorced and she's just trying to get some new friends and just get more comfortable with the city and stuff like that so they just take her in and they all become best friends i don't know if this is based off of sex in the city but like all of the main characters names are literally names from the girls from sex in the city it's like carrie samantha miranda anyway so yeah follows these three best friends and the one new entry isabel and that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> this is basically like a mystery thriller contemporary all just group of friends and everything is fine and then all of a sudden things start falling apart and they're trying to figure out why and what the reason is for all of their secrets to be getting let out as you follow all of these friends and see their journey and see their struggles and see their hardship their conversations and stuff like that you slowly start to pick apart and realize what exactly is going on and what's happening and it gets crazy like it really gets crazy that's all i want to say because it is a mystery it is a thriller i don't want to give too much away there is definitely a delusional character in this book honestly it almost all of them are delusional like a lot of things that they do in this book i'm just like what are y'all doing what's happening why delusions 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 but unhinged it's only one okay two more books two more books and we're done i'm starting to lose my voice i don't know why but <laughs> the next book that i have to recommend is luster it follows the main character who is in her early 20s and she's sleeping with this married man close your legs to married man Excuse you heard me. me. Close your legs to married men. Her life is falling apart. It's not where she wants it to be. She's struggling financially. She hates her job and she hates her apartment. She really just does not like anything that's going on in her life. As she starts seeing this married man, things start getting a little weird. And that's basically the pre premise of this book. It basically just follows her, her life, and her secret situation shit. Sneaky link situation ship with this man story goes on you just start to see like are you the problem like <laughs> are you the problem is everybody else around you crazy or are you the problem and as i read this book i really felt like she was unhinged and i also felt like the wife was unhinged i really wish it turned into like a thriller like because she just had the perfect motive like the things that she was doing I was just like why are you welcoming this girl in your house like it was just so many things the wife was doing where I was just like what are you doing my good sis like I really truly want to understand what her reasons were there's also scenes that you see with the wife at work and I think she's 
I don't know. I don't think it's called a mortician. Is it a mortician that like dissects the human body once they die? Whatever. When you see those scenes with the wife and you just see how fascinated she is with taking things apart, but it's a human body. I, I know that's some people's job, so I'm not going to get, you know, <laughs> too deep into it. But it just was creepy and crazy to see. And I really wish it turned into a thriller. It's more of a contemporary book very detached narrating style so if that's something that you like i think that you should check it out some people would say the main character is unhinged i really feel like the wife in this book is unhinged but she not black so we gonna just <laughs> we just gonna talk about the main character she is unhinged as well so they're both equally crazy okay <laughs> the final book that i have to recommend is a classic and it was my first time reading Toni Morrison and the book is called Sula. This book, <laughs> I, wow, like I, I just, I don't even know how to explain it, but it basically follows these two best friends through generations and it follows their town and it follows the people within that town and their mothers and their mother's mothers and all this and it's just drama, chaos, insanity main character her name is Sula and she just beats the drum to her own beat she does not answer to anyone she does not do shit that anyone tells her to do she just simply does not care and I love to see it I'm sorry I, I simply love to see it she does not follow societal like norms or anything she went away for a while to go to college and do things that she wanted to do and then she came back in town and when she came back, because she wasn't doing the shit that everybody else was doing, getting married, having kids, getting a house, they started calling her a witch, calling her crazy, whatever. But I think she's an icon. I simply think she's an icon living. Some of the things she did in this book was questionable, to say the least. And if she was my best friend, I would have had to lay hands on her. But as someone just simply reading the book, I loved it. <laughs> I lived for the drama okay so if you like drama and books this definitely is your book so the other main character her name I think her name is Mel yeah so the other main character she basically follows all the rules she gets married she gets a house she has kids and when her best friend comes back she's like oh my god I'm so excited to see you because they haven't seen each other in 10 years they catch up they're basically living these two very different lives and it just shows you the depiction and the life of two black women way back in the day. The writing is so beautiful and phenomenal. Like I wanna read more classic books like this. If you want drama and you want an unhinged main character, Sula is your girl. And honestly, people say Sula is unhinged, but I beg to differ. I also think that Nell is also unhinged, especially towards the end, things that happen and like, being in her mind, I feel like she's a little She's a little crazy, a little crazy girl too, honestly. I think they're both a little crazy. There's also a scene in this book where it's kind of like a euphoria scene where Jules like cuts herself cause she's in danger. She like, if you trying to mess with me, this is what I do to myself, what you think I'm gonna do to you? Type energy, same energy, same scene. If y'all haven't seen euphoria yet, I'll put up the scene so you know what I'm talking about. By the way, I'm Jules. I just moved here. I started really getting into the story maybe like 40% in, so you kind of got to ride along the way for a little bit until you really get clicked in. Definitely check and see if it's available on your Libby and your library. It is a classic, so the writing's a little bit different, but definitely check it out unhinged crazy delusional and sick. so those are all nine <laughs> i want to say ten so bad those are all nine of the unhinged black main characters in books let me know if you've read any of these books if any of them are on your tbr if you're currently reading any of these 
what book sounds most interesting to you i would greatly appreciate it if you made it to the end of this video leave a leave like a sponge and a soap emoji because we just like it's a lot of cleaning up crime scenes and mess and blood and drama in these books so leave your greatest like cleaning equipment emojis in the comment section below i would greatly appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching if you have any books with black main characters that are unhinged delusional and crazy leave those recommendations below i would love to check them out thank you guys so much for watching always remember read a book keep your life interesting and i will see you next time bye